Aloha guys, welcome to my video today. I want to wish everybody a happy 4th of July, happy birthday to the United States of America. And uh, I've got some stuff I wanted to show you today, some stuff that's come in the mail, so it's going to be a mixed plate kind of a day. I got this one out of retirement for today, needed a sharpening, and uh, decided to put this one in the pocket for today for... You know, just for old time's sake. So this is my uh, Mel Pardue designed Benchmade 722. One of my oldest knives. This thing stood up to 15 years of hard, hard, everyday use and carry. Never once been taken apart. Never had a bad spring. No zero issues. So very solid knife. Got this from my dad years and years ago. So it served me well. But I figured I'd carry this one today. So... Let's get into some of this stuff. As you can see, I'm still going through the Tucson box, but you're going to notice a uh, distinct lack of Hawaiian scenery today. That's because it's kind of raining today. So I decided to film this one from my garage, my new little workshop area here. This was actually a uh, present for Father's Day. Besides the drill press that I got, they asked what I wanted for Father's Day. I said, I want a whole day to myself to go and work in the garage. So I put up some pegboard and kind of made myself a little shop area to work out here, which has been long overdue. So if you guys are okay with some of these uh, kind of from the garage type videos, I've got some work in progress stuff and some DIY stuff that I wanted to kind of show here. Let's get this thing set right. There we go. So yeah, I mean, I've got some knives I've been working on. This is one I am... Still working on some Koa sides for this Jelly Jerry 223. So, still got to do the back side on this one, but it's coming out cool. And then I also have this guy, which somebody sent to me and has asked me to put some Koa on this one. So, this is going to be a surprise. Stay tuned for this. I will show it to you when I'm finished with it. And then also a couple of little projects here. This is one that i kind of been working on. This is uh, some coconut micarta that I made. And trying a first run of it here on a little Swiss Army knife. So we'll see how this comes out. I have a couple of other pieces that I made. So just trying some different stuff. But if you guys don't mind uh, some inside the garage videos, I do have some other ideas. But... Let's take a look at some of the other knives here today. Actually, the first item I wanted to show you isn't a knife, but it is a Tucson item. And while normally I'm all for plugging Tucson and their products, this one was a little interesting. This is the uh, TS-157, and as you can clearly see, it's got a very unique shape to it. And the reason I got it more than anything was to see physically how big it was and how it felt because obviously it was designed for this. Clearly, you know, to be a uh, motivational tool, we'll call that. But you can see it's got little keychain holes, and one hole milled into the top, and then this upper portion with, let me even focus in here, because I still don't think you can see it. Oh, maybe right there, faint little line. This guy actually opens up into a very tiny little canister here. A little waterproof O-ring, but neat little item. I mean, again, I only paid a couple bucks for it. It's not anything more than a novelty from Tucson. They do put out a lot of that type of stuff, but, you know, I wanted to see how it was, and it was actually surprisingly more comfortable than I was expecting. It could have been a little bit bigger in the palm area there, but it's really not bad. It's uh, definitely 10 bucks worth of titanium, so there you go. That's item number one. We'll even leave it out here. So, next one I want to show you. This is a knife that... I've actually had a few of, but this one's a little bit different, so I want to show it to you. This is the TS-114 in carbon fiber, designed by Knight's Edge in D2 steel, titanium 
backspacer, really nice extended smashing type backspacer or big lanyard point. But the one thing that they changed on this is the clip, which I think is awesome because this is something that I have done to a few of these because it needed it. Basically, they, they cut that ramp on the front where it didn't have it before. It used to just be that same profile in the back all the way up to the front, kind of a half bean looking shape there, and it didn't go into your pocket easily. It would just hit the front of your pocket and you'd have to lift up or really fight to get it into a pocket. So small correction, and I was kind of surprised to see it, but I think it's a good one. So they just made a knife that I like a whole lot even better so that's always good so set that guy right there and then the next one I want to show you is this guy this is one that again I have shown on here before but not this version this is the TS-166 and this one is in M390 steel so it took me a little while to get one of these it has been out for a little while in this blade steel but I got it for a, a really good price. I think I paid under 90 bucks for this one, which is great. This has always been one of my favorite designs um, since I got this one the first time. It's just, it really is super comfortable in your hand. You can just, anytime you look at the profile, it there matches up with my fingers. It just feels good all the way around. It's got really nice traction right back there for your thumb, so I love this design. Nice pass through for the thumb. Really nice snappy action to it, just all the way around. This is a great knife, so as soon as I put it out in M390, definitely had my eye on it and finally arrived. So that's that. Leave this one out too. And then some other stuff that I wanted to show you. I have had a couple packages come to mail in the last couple days from two different friends of mine, and uh, one was the guy who's been so kind as to box up and send all these Tucson knives to me because they won't ship here right now. So that's awesome. Really wanted to tell him thank you for doing this for me. It's been a few packages now at this point, so thanks for making the effort. And he actually included in the last box some other stuff, which I thought was awesome. He threw in this very nice Civivi Wii pry bar. And I'll tell you, I've had the Gerber Shard on my key ring for probably about a year now, and I use it all the time. I mean, doing work and whatever, I'm always opening paint cans or doing something with it. And it's it's not bad, the pry bar, but then it has a screwdriver end that sticks out of the back. So if you need to really pry on that little thing, it's jabbing you in the hand. So it gets to a point where it's only good at prying stuff that's not very stuck. So this one I think is a much better design. It gives you enough leverage because it's big here and then that's going to be comfortable to actually hold on to and pry on something. So this is awesome. I love it and I will definitely be using it. So that's number one. And then the other thing that he sent to me, I, I couldn't get over it. I think it's so awesome. I mean, look at this thing. This is a very, very, very sharp Damascus cleaver, baby cleaver, mini baby cleaver. And it came pretty sharp, but I touched it up and then stropped it. And this thing is, I mean, it's, it's scary, scalpel sharp at this point. Sorry, my camera's not really focusing that well, but yeah. Very cool. Got uh, it's a little bit of a hollow grind, but really neat little knife. It's got uh, looks like a dark ebony type wood pinned in place. Got the tube all the way through, and surprisingly not uncomfortable to hold on to since it's kind of wide and flat back there. Got nice thick blade stock, it's like two or three millimeter blade stock on it, but you just pinch it right here and it rests on your finger. And you know it's actually not uncomfortable to hold on to. I'm not exactly sure what you'd use it for, but it's still very cool and I love it. So thank you for this. Totally awesome. Nice unexpected little gift and I love it. So that's that guy. And then the other package I just got yesterday 
came from another friend of mine, and he was so kind as to send this book out here. And he sent it for me and my son, and I think it's awesome. This goes through, like, everything you need to know, the entire history of the company, goes through all of their models, all their tool selection, goes through all the different family of uh, companies that they own at this point, just such a complete collector's guide for Swiss Army Knives, and this thing is awesome. So thank you for sending that. You know who you are. I totally appreciate it, and uh, my, my kid is absolutely going to love reading about this. You know, just a very nice, complete book on Swiss Army Knives. So thank you. MacGyver's even mentioned in the back, of course. So I love it. And then in the box, he also added some other stuff here, which I thought was very, very kind. He sent this little key ring guy, which I believe is a bottle opener at the top. But very nice little brass key ring. And he also included this very nice Maxpedition wallet, which, you know, I've never been one to carry a wallet, really. The only thing that I ever keep in my pocket is just this guy, which is my card holder. It's, you know, just a little metal case, and it's slim, and I stick it in my front pocket. You know, it'll hold five or six cards and a couple of bills at the most, but it's perfect for what I do. And this is awesome. I mean, exactly what I would what I would like in a wallet. So thank you for that. Totally appreciate it. And then also threw in another little ferro rod here, which I actually have a perfect use for that coming up. So thank you. That will get put to use. And then he threw in a bunch of stickers. Absolutely. Just a very nice little pack of stuff. So, dude, you're awesome. I appreciate it. I love getting mail calls like that. So it's been a good day, but I do have some other videos coming up that I wanted to, to make out here. If you guys are all right with it, um, I've got some some other working type videos that I've been thinking about doing. So now that I have kind of an area that I can film them, let me show you some of the new stuff that I got. Just got this diamond whetstone that came in. Got some more Koa stuff in the works. Um, we got this new little one by thirty belt sander. It's a new addition to the shop here. So that's what I got going on, guys. But again, thank you guys for watching. Happy birthday to this great nation of ours, and uh, hope to see you guys at the next video. Thanks.